<laughs> I see you've found some fly agaric mushrooms. The fly agaric is a relative of the death cap mushroom that grows only in that region. You'll find it growing on the ground, but it's poisonous, so if you pick one up, don't eat it. If you do eat one, go into the survival viewer immediately and use cure to take some antidote. The poisons found in the fly agaric include phallotoxins and amatoxins. It says here that when you eat it, the initial symptoms include nausea, stomach pain, and diarrhea. Finally, your liver and kidneys will break down into a sponge-like substance and you die. Sounds like a horrible way to die. Isn't it? Yeah. So how does it taste? Huh? How does it... Were you listening to me? The fly agaric is poisonous. I heard you, but if I did eat it, it might taste good, right? I give up. I see you've caught a European rabbit. The European rabbit is said to have come from the Mediterranean region originally, but nowadays they're found all over the world. They've been used since ancient times as a source of food, so it might be worth catching them. Rabbits are known to eat their own excrement. Uh, they eat their own? That's right. It's called cecal feces. When the rabbit eats fiber, the fiber is fermented in the rabbit's appendix, or cecum, and turned into a nutritious substance full of vitamins. The rabbit excretes the substance and then eats it again to absorb the nutrients. That's a neat trick. I think I'll give it a try. Snake, rabbits and humans don't work the... I'm just kidding. You really thought I was going to eat it? A little, yeah. Even I wouldn't do that. I guess not. But how did those seagull feces taste? What? I'm just kidding. Oh... This works. I see you caught yourself a Japanese flying squirrel. Japanese flying squirrels are non-venomous, and they shouldn't attack you. The head, front legs, hind legs, and tail of the Japanese flying squirrel are connected by a membrane of skin, which allows the squirrel to glide from tree to tree. It says here that if it catches a good wind, it can fly more than a hundred yards. Yeah, I had a hard time catching one. So, aren't you going to ask me? You know it. How does it taste? Not sure. Not sure. The guy doesn't say anything about it. Why not? Gee, maybe it's because no one would ever think of eating a flying squirrel. Then I must be the first one. <sighs> maybe you are. What is this? I see you've caught yourself a red avatavat. The red avatavat is a small bird native to southern China and Southeast Asia. This is its mating season, so the males ought to be a brilliant red color right now. If you want to catch one alive, use the tranquilizer gun. By catching one and then releasing it, you might be able to distract the enemy's attention. I see. How do they taste? The... what? The flavor. You... You're not going to eat such a cute little bird, are you? Yeah. Oh. 
Something bothering you? No. Okay then, so, how about it? How should I know?